Hey all, Russ here, our TV. Welcome. Check it out. We're in Lake Havasu. Kind of cruising around, exploring the town. Gonna head up. I thought we'd go up and explore old downtown a little bit. We'll do a drive through. Plus, there's more. Wait, there's more. Might even be a car show here. Crystal blue water blue skies gonna cross the London Bridge here in a second absolutely gorgeous downtown is straight up it's up quite a ways about two three miles we're gonna go up McCulloch Boulevard right out there is that London Bridge Beach Park the huge marina but let's keep on trucking Get your cup of tea going. We're crossing the mighty London Bridge again. It'd be something to see the traffic count that's gone over this thing since they put it up. It's got to be in the millions. Havasu Island's grown so much. My goodness, there's some housing going up out there. Development City. Look at that, no wind, them flags are laying down. Perfect. Alright, we're going to go straight up here through the light. Going to go up to Old Town, Havasu. Busy, busy town. Cut up through here. When you think of Havasu, you always think of all the businesses along 95 but when you get up here away that's it's considered old town and uh, there's a lot of small shops cafes restaurants all kinds of stuff we're gonna do a drive-through up here plus I think all their medical places are up through here too hospitals and urgent cares and Doctors, quite a few doctors here in this town. I have always enjoyed coming here to Havasu. Always, always. Always something to do. These this is one busy place. They got events going pretty much year round. If you go to that Go Havasu uh, Facebook page and their website, they list it all. A lot of times they'll have farmers markets and all kinds. Look at that, there's an orchestra thing on that banner. <laughs> Got the palm trees in the center island. One plush place. Okay, starting right here on both sides of the road, mainland to right, these are all kinds of old buildings and businesses. And these buildings been here, they've been refurbished and remodeled and whatnot. But there's furniture places, gift shops, all kinds of good stuff. You always see a bunch of old hot rod cars around Havasu. It's like going back in time. Little hardware store, been there forever. Furniture, printing. Banks. I think they have uh, like street festivals. We'll have to, I'll have to come back for one of those. They'll actually close down the street. They got vendors out here. That'll be fun. Plus the old cars. Speaking of old cars, I just found out this morning out at the Lake Havasu Speedway, which is out at Sarah Park, there might be a few old cars. So we're going to go out there next.
and we're getting close to the end of it but that's this is old town if you're around here come up in here even if you like antiquing you know that kind of stuff there's antique shops thrift stores quite a few thrift stores in Havasu everything's on sale yay <laughs> Cool. All right. Well, when I get up here and get, get turned around, we'll head back down towards 95. This is a coma. This will take you all the way back down to 95 too. But I want to make a left up here. I forget name of street. Mesquite. If I remember right, this is the one that has all the medical centers and doctors on it. This also dump us right back down on 95. There's the lake way out. What a view from up here. There's a real view. There you go. There's the lake. That's Mesquite going down on that road. And right over there is McCulloch. And there's Old Town right there. All the businesses. Look at all the air conditioners on the roofs, huh? Because <laughs> it gets hot here. Plenty of parking. Look at that. They got big stores, little stores. Old Town Havasu. But look at all the houses. Look how far up the hill they go. I mean, they just keep building and building and building up those that way. Pretty soon they'll be on top of the mountain up there, huh? Gives you a perspective of really how many people are really here. Pretty cool. All right, we say let's go find that car show. Zip down, get back on 95. It's supposed to be a big fireworks display uh, next weekend here in Havasu. Okay, here we are back on Highway 95. We're heading south. Gonna head out towards the end of town, out to Sarah Park. This is the main road to cut to town, but boy, there is a lot of traffic lights you got to deal with. We're gaining on it. We're getting out here. This is the very last traffic light going out of Havasu. And this is the road you take. Make a right right here, and this will cut us right down into Sarah Park. And this park is huge. Absolutely massive. You can't camp here. It's all day use. No fees to get in. It's free to come in here. And they got hiking and biking trails and everything here. And it's quite a ways down to the water from here. It's a pretty good hike. You see most people out here, you see a lot of electric bikes now, but bring a backpack and your water. Because it's a long, long hike down there. There's a better look. See the mountains that line the mighty... Uh, 
Lake Havasu and Colorado River. There's the trails. The water's on the other side. It's quite a ways. Sure is pretty in here. Plus you can get down to places that you can't get to any way else. Can't drive down to there. There's the lake off in the distance and that's the way we just came in. Pretty cool. And straight out they got their rodeo grounds here. Rodeos. Uh, we're not up to the racetrack yet. We'll get up there soon. And there's town. Ooh, RC Airfield. Wonder if anyone's flying today. That was cool. That guy was. Oh, look at the hot rod. Yay! That was cool. That guy was flying that plane pretty good. That's one of the bigger models, too. Alright, here we are. This is the speedway off left, and look at all the cars here. Huh. Let's see if we can find some hot rods. Let's get parked. Go look at that thing. Wow. That is shiny and happy. These cars are happy. <laughs> 1957. Woof. Solid steel. Look at that. They don't make them like that anymore. Gas guzzling, big old engines. <laughs> yeah, puppy dogs in the stroller. Wow, look at that color. Woof! Just like a mirror. Pretty. I just heard a guy say there's a whole bunch more down on the track itself. We'll walk down there. This is actually the speedway. They got races out here. Look at the orange. Woo! <laughs> oh, no, I like that wagon. Look at the gold color. I, I'll take that one. Wow, there are quite a few. I'll be darned. How about some purple? Oof. <laughs> wow. Bet that paint job cost more than my van. Look at that thing. Chevrolet. Cool looking truck. Convertible. Wow. What do they call that? That candy apple red? Even the engines. My goodness, look at the engine in this thing. Huh. Just spotless. Right now. So that's proven that it's now. It's pretty custom, that hood holds all the way out. Got total access to that engine. Huh. There's a lot of cars here.
Look at the caddy, my goodness. All low to the ground. What a fun little stop. This wasn't advertised. I was told about this uh, earlier this morning. Because a lot of these guys will uh, congregate in town, too, at uh, some of the local fast food places that you see them on Saturdays. Want to hear what uh, two miles per gallon sounds like? <laughs> this. Look at this thing. It's got so much horsepower it can't even idle right. Idle smooth. Oh man. Fun little stop. Highway 95 Speedway, Lake Havasu. They got a lot of, yeah, they have like the ATVs, motorcycles that race out here. I'm not sure what else. I think it's usually Friday nights they have races. But lots of hot rods, especially this time of year. People come in from all over the country. They always bring their cars here. And it looks like it's like a car park flea market up here. Everyone's selling their car parts. So if you need parts for hot rods, this is where you're going to find them. Pretty darn cool. Well, we're in this hot rod van here. <laughs> it's slow, but it's steady. <laughs> That's something. There's the batting cages. They got batting cages. A lot of baseball gets played down here. They got the big baseball diamonds. Well, I'm going to go across the road here and check out the boondocking areas. You can free camp right here on the right. My buddy Tom Hobotex out here. I got to look him up see what they're up to. A little rough getting in there. Not a very big camp area, but it's free. They like congregating here. I, I think that fireworks display is in a few days. They shoot them right out here at the park. So if you're in the area, need a free place to camp, here you go. Get on in here. Well, there's still room left. Look, they're parked right along the wash here. All right, here's our camp. Journey continues. Talk soon.